If you have ever seen a picture or video of a Soviet or Russian tank, you may have noticed a log attached to its exterior. You may have wondered what is the purpose of this seemingly primitive device on a modern war machine. The main reason for carrying a log on a tank is to help it get out of soft or uneven terrain, such as mud, snow, or sand, that can cause the tank to get stuck or lose traction. There are different ways that tankers can use the log for this purpose. One way is to chain one end of the log to one of the tracks, and then drive forward or backward until the log gets under the track and lifts it up from the ground. This can create enough space for another log or object to be placed under the track, and then repeat the process until the tank can move freely. Another way to use the log is to place it under one track while turning the other track in reverse. This creates a pivot point that allows the tank to rotate around its axis and change its direction. This can be useful if the tank needs to maneuver in tight spaces or avoid obstacles. The practice of carrying logs on tanks dates back to World War II, when Soviet tanks faced harsh conditions on the Eastern Front. The terrain was often muddy and swampy due to melting snow or heavy rain, making it difficult for tanks to move around. 